Salutations everyone, another Transformers review coming to you, brought to you by Rockimus Prime. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there. But this is another redo video review, as you can see by the title. Today we're going to be taking a look at Masterpiece Skywarp. I can't fit them all in the shot here. Excuse me, Prime. Ah, my comic! Um, yeah, that that's about as... There we go. Um, this is the tw uh, Walmart exclusive Skywarp. Um, and I'm only reviewing him... Visiting him... Uh, <laughs> because I have a Starscream uh, on the way from a good friend, Optibotamus. So, um... When I get him, I'll obviously display him next to my Skywarp. Now, before we get on to the actual figure, down here, we'll get on to the stand. Now, I've had this displayed ever since he came out. So, I've lost the uh, floaty stand. But, as you can see, nice Skywarp and nice reflective Decepticon logo. You can have uh, his missiles or his null rays uh, here, whichever one you want. I have the null rays on them just because it looks more accurate, I guess. Um, and underneath here, oh, I do still have. And he does have the clip that can hold uh, the gun that came with MP01. All you do is you reach under here. There's a little hole there. Take the peg, slide it in. And then take the gun that came with MP01. Um, you can have him. Holding Megatron. Yay. Took that off to the side. But, um, Skywarp himself, I really do like. He does have folding, fold down landing gear. Just flip that panel out. And, uh, yeah, for a masterpiece, they do roll, which is awesome. Very detailed. Um, now, one thing I don't understand is why these come up. They serve no purpose, and I know they um, they fixed that on the new the new mold for Thundercracker, I think Thundercracker and Starscream. So uh, hopefully we get a Skywarp version of that. Um, I should buy that Thundercracker, so I have the original Three Seekers. Although I should probably get a better version of this one because he's because uh, as I said in my first one, this nose cone it broke, so I had to glue it. Um, this tail fin section is broken, so I had to glue it, and the glue got on the tail fin, and started to strip the purple paint. Um, but that's one thing I'll give him. He's got this, I don't know, ooh, there's hair on my camera. I don't know if you can see that, but it, probably not, that, yeah, it looks like a flat black, but it's actually a, a very light metallic black. And the molded in detail is, as you can see there with my light, wow, that's actually really good. Um, is really awesome in this mold. And, and the uh, the wings are on a curve, which is awesome. They have this little red accent, and on the other side, a little green accent. That's really cool. So if you want to get a full-on front shot, here we go. Um, yes, this is a Repro Label sticker. I just thought it was awesome just to have a little, little Decepticon logo there. As opposed to the big Septicon logo. Oh, never mind. Uh, oh boy. Uh, but folding the landing gear up. And I would recommend having nice fingernails uh, when you try to get these out. Because they are stuck in there. They are really hard to get out. Um, he does have these which you can move up and down to change the pitch of the plane, I think. How do I know this? Uh, these move too, but I'd be careful because they do break. These... Uh, yeah, they move. They're on a ball joint. One really weird thing, you, you can activate his air brake, I think is what it's called. And this is die cast metal right there, I think. I think it might be metal. I don't know. I can't. Maybe it's plastic. Maybe maybe it's plastic now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, and he did come with a little Dr. Archiville figure, I think. But I lost him. Um, just because I didn't know who he was. So, uh, transformation on this guy. I will show you the transformation on this guy, uh, because, well, he's 
a whole lot simpler than Rodimus. <clears throat> Now, one thing I will say is if you bring an MP01 here, is I don't know if that's entirely um, scale accurate. Although Prime was huge, he he was a uh, he rivaled Megatron in size anyway, or at least he was supposed to. So this little clip I'm just gonna stick on the underside of this, this little peg right there, just pop it right in. Just like that. Now, we can have Skywarp here. I can move his arm without... These things fall off really, really easily. So I don't like them. I don't like them! If you get his hand here, you just get Megatron, set it in there like this. Actually, I think you might even have to... There we go. Mine, for whatever reason, my Megatron curves. I don't know why. My gun barrel doesn't curve. It, it's the handle. That's kind of dumb. But, um... Yeah, there you have him holding Megatron. Obviously, the gun... Holding the gun... See, this is the best you can get out of the holding the gun. His hand won't even close around it. Unless I'm doing something wrong, which is quite possible. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm nowhere near perfect. I guess you can kind of fudge it. Kind of, sort of, not really. Because my ball joints are so loose on this guy, it, it really isn't worth trying. But uh, if you have him kind of standing like that, you can hold Megatron. Kind of up at an angle. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's it. Articulation, same as before. You got the head on a ball joint, arms are on ratchets. Uh, let's see if I can pick you up without moving you. Uh, dang it. <laughs> Hips are on a ratchet joint, and you get a rotation at the lower thigh. Double jointed knee, uh, no, single joint, sorry, single jointed knees, but the detail is awesome. It's an MP, it should be awesome. And you won't stand. Stand, man! There we go. I believe that's it, guys. I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been another Rocktimus Prime review. Hopefully this isn't 17 minutes long. Ugh, I'll talk to you later. What is it? It's got a strap.
Atmos. What happened? Doctor Insane. 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 Insane.